Good day all and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a bit of a video guide on how to install Emudic. So what is Emudic you may be asking and if we go over to the uh, wiki on emudic.github.io you will be presented with a very prompt description. I love the way that they say it here it's exactly the way I would ask the question what the hell is Emudic anyways. So Emudic is basically an installation script that helps you get started with emulation not just on Steam but on Windows and on Android. It is an all-in-one solution that installs your emulators for you, creates a folder structure where you can copy BIOS files and ROM files into, sets up hotkeys uh, so that you can navigate easily in-game, and uh, presents you with a place, one place, one UI, one user interface where you can uh, configure settings or do emulator updates. So uh, it's not the only software out there, but it is one of the best at the moment. And uh, I've recently set this up for my son for his birthday and we're both enjoying it <laughs> it's one of those gifts that you don't just give to the person it's not just about giving it to the person but you're kind of giving it to yourself as well i'm sure many of you have done that as well um but yeah uh just today is a bit of a new way for doing the videos for me so just bear with me trying to do a walkthrough an informal walkthrough instead of a more scripted format for the video so uh bear with me and let's see how it goes um so First thing we want to see as well as I, that I wanted to discuss as well is just the additional benefits that you get from installing in your Um It also allows you to compress your game files, which allows you to save disk space. It allows cloud backups uh, for your saves on, on the games, basically. And this uh, they're working towards a place where this will be available across platform. So basically, you'd be able to save your games out of your Windows emulator, and then it will be able to be opened on a Miu Mini Plus, for example, which is a handheld console. Um, you've already discussed the hotkeys that it adds. It adds uh, gyro support for the Steam Deck. Uh, it's not very relevant to what we're discuss discussing today. And as I said also, as well, it helps you to check your BIOS to make sure that the BIOS are updated. Um, so how do you do this? How do you install Emudic? Well, the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you've got Steam installed. So I've already got this done. I've got Steam installed. Uh, but for those of you that don't, you can head over to uh, Google and just search uh, download Steam. And you'll be taken to this link over here. I'll leave the link in the description as well. And you can click on install Steam. And it will then download a Steam setup exe file. You can see I've done this before. Double click on the file, follow the prompts, and you'll be taken through the steps to set up Steam. Once you've got Steam installed, you can head back to the Emudex site and then scroll down to the download section. You can see here that they've got it available for Steam OS, uh, for Linux, Windows, and Android. And we're going to be doing the Windows version, so click on that you will be presented with a warning that it is basically in beta and will be picked up as a false positive by most antiviruses. So the, your antivirus on your Windows program or your Windows operating system will probably tell you that this is a, a file that could be a threat. Uh, just ignore that. It's a false positive, what we call a false positive. So it's basically not a threat. I've installed this on my computer. Um, so you can click on the download beta here and the script will be downloaded. So here we go. So it's going to be opening up a command prompt and it will run the script to basically start the installation of your Emudex system. It's going to ask you about the DNS, whether or not you want to change it. You don't have to do this, but I prefer Google's DNS. It's Personally, I'm choosing to click yes here. Um, so then uh, it's going to start with uh, the first thing that you need to do is to update your Windows Store, the apps on your Windows to make sure that everything is ready for the Emudex installation. You can click on continue here and it's going to open up your Windows Store. Just give it a second here while it's loading. Once it's open, you can click on the library section in the bottom left hand side and you will be taken to a section where all of your apps will be displayed. And you can click on get updates in the top right hand corner here and give it a minute to update all of those apps. Okay, I'm back. And uh, so as you can see, all of the apps have been updated. Once this is done, you can just close out of the app updater. Click back into the command prompt window and click OK. And your script will continue updating everything that needs to be updated. Close out once it's done and the script will continue installing. Uh, just leave it and 
just be patient with it and follow the prompts as as it goes through once it's finished downloading the MEDX software it will ask you to allow it to install just click yes and the MEDX software installer will start installing so basically once you get to the screen here the MEDX software is uh, installing just be patient and let that complete once it's done we'll uh, continue with the guide once your MEDX software is loaded you'll get to the setup screen where you'll be presented with the option of going through it in easy mode or custom mode easy mode will basically do everything for you we're going to choose custom mode just because there's a few things that we want to customize so click on custom mode and click continue it is collecting the drives on your computer and it will present you with an option on where to install your uh, emulation software your MEDX software um, I've only got one hard drive you may have quite a few here all of them will be presented to you and you can choose the one that you want to install on so I'm going to go ahead and click on my hard drive click next and then we have to select our device um, and as you can see you can install this on a multiple of handouts uh, but we're installing this on a Windows PC so we're going to go ahead and click on Windows PC and click next once you've done that you'll be brought to this screen where you will be given the option to choose which emulators you want to install Good rule of thumb here is just to leave the defaults. It basically covers everything that you might need for, uh, especially if you're a beginner in this. So just click continue. Next, you will be given the option to choose which emulators will be configured. Uh, just leave it as default. Click next. And then you will be asked whether or not you want to have autosave configured. This basically means that once you're playing a game and you leave it or close the system down, it will save exactly where you were in the game. I don't really like that, so I'm going to leave mine off. You can turn yours on if you want that um, and just configure that option and then click continue. Once you've done that, you will be presented with the option to configure retro achievements, which is basically a community led effort to collaborate and create custom made achievements in emulated classic games. You can go and create an account for you on the retro achievements homepage or web page um, and put in your username and password here if you want to do that. Uh, I'm not doing that, so I'm going to go and click continue. Once you've done that, you will be given the option to configure game bezels. So most of these retro games come in different screen aspect ratios, and they don't always fill out the whole screen. And Emidec has a system of bezels which fills up the side space that is empty. It looks quite good, so my recommendation here would be to leave it to on. Once you've configured your bezels, you will be given the option to choose a default screen aspect ratio for different systems. Good rule of thumb is to choose a 4x3 here. So click on 4x3 and click through the different systems. The next option you'll be presented with is whether or not to configure the LCD shader for different handheld systems. This basically just simulates the old LCD matrix and makes it look more authentic. Personally, I prefer it off. So make your choice, click continue. Once you're done with that, you will be presented with the option of whether or not to configure a CRT shader. Once again, this is basically all about taking the games back to a more authentic retro look. Very pixelated, as you can see. I prefer this option off, as I like the way the games are smoothed out, and I like the more modern LCD look. So click on off or on, as whatever your preference is, and click continue. And then we'll be brought through to the option to choose our front end, which we discussed earlier. You have to select the Steam library here, and having looked at Emulation Station, we'll choose that one. So basically just deselect Pegasus and click Continue. You will then be asked to select the default theme for Emulation Station. So this is basically what the interface is going to be looking like. There's quite a few options here. You can look through them and choose whichever you want. My personal preference is the Artflix Revisited. I'm going to select that one, click on Next. Next up, we're given the option to choose a default resolution for all of these systems. Good rule of thumb here is to keep it at 1080p. You can choose to go higher, but just be aware that you will need more powerful hardware to run it at these resolutions. Alternatively, you can take it lower if you've got a system that isn't that powerful. We're going to keep it at 1080p and click Next. Now we're finally at the summary screen. It took a bit of doing to get here, but it basically tells you what you've selected in the previous steps. All you need to do here is click on finish and Emidec will start installing all of the options that you chose. Just a bit of a side note here while Emidec is downloading and configuring all of our previous selections. If at any point during the installation process you get stuck, 
you can go through to the MEDEC wiki by going to their website, clicking on the MEDEC wiki tab at the top of the page, and you will be taken through to this page, which we looked at earlier, that tells us basically what MEDEC is. It also has a section on how to install MEDEC. Click on MEDEC for Windows for a guide on this. Or if you've got any questions, you can go to the Frequently Asked Questions section. And any known issues with installations will be shown here in the MEDEC for Windows section. So if you need some guidance, this will be the place to come to. Okay, good stuff. So once uh, MEDEC has downloaded and installed everything that it needs, there will be a message in regards to controller configuration. Basically, it just says that you need to launch your games or your emulators or emulation station the front end through Steam. Otherwise, the hotkeys won't work. If you click through on that, you'll be brought to this screen where you need to manually copy your ROMs and BIOS for each system into the correct folders on your hard drive. Unfortunately, because ROM and BIOS files are copyrighted, I cannot tell you where to get them. You will be taken to this screen where you will first need to copy your ROMs and BIOS files into the correct file and folder on your computer. To do this, you need to access your computer's folder structure by clicking on this PC and going to the drive where you installed EmuDeck. In my case, this is a C drive. For you, this might be another drive. When you open the drive in question, you will find a folder called Emulation. If you open that one, you'll see there are folders for BIOS and ROMs. These are the folders that you will need to copy the files in question into. If you open the ROMs folder, you'll see that there's a folder for each and every console that ever existed. You will have to copy your ROMs into the correct folder for it to work correctly with the EmuDeck software. Now this might be quite intimidating because the abbreviations doesn't necessarily line up to the naming that we're used to. GBA, for example, is for Game Boy Advance ROMs. Now that's pretty intuitive, but some of these other ones like FDS is not even known to me. If you need help with this, you can go back to the Emidec wiki page and click on the BIOS and ROMs cheat sheet. Once you've clicked on it, you will need to scroll down until you find this Excel-like breakdown of each and every system. This should help you to get the correct ROMs in the correct folder. It also tells you which BIOS files are needed for each system. The BIOS files will need to be copied into the BIOS folder. So as an example, if I have to go back up here to my C drive, here's my ROMs collection. I'm going to go in here and select my Dreamcast games and copy them and then take them back into the emulation folder, open the ROMs folder, find the Dreamcast folder Right click and paste. And there we go. ROMs are being copied over. And you will have to do this for each and every system that you have ROMs for. Might take a bit of time, but you should be able to get this done quite easily. Once you've finished copying the ROMs into each of the relevant folders, you're going to have to do the same for the BIOS files that you downloaded. I'm going to go over to where I've got all of my BIOS files saved, select all of them. Now this is quite an extensive collection, you may not need as many as I have. And I'm going to go back to the emulation folder, open the BIOS folder, right click and paste it all in. So once those are all copied over, the system should operate normally. There we go. And we're done. Now we should be able to go back to EmuDeck and click on the next button. At this point, we're going to be given the choice of how to launch our games. We're going to click on Steam Library because we can launch Emulation Deck directly from Steam. I click on Steam Library, launch Steam ROM Manager. And sorry guys, I had a bit of a glitch there and I've had to finish the installation and come back into Emudeck to show you how to complete this step. So it's not too much of a problem. In the Emudeck software, you can just click on Steam ROM Manager on the side menu here and it will open up the screen that we were looking at previously or that we would have looked at. So in this screen, you're going to be choosing the systems that will show up in your Steam library. Now, by default, all of them are selected. So depending on the amount of games you have, that could be quite a lot of games. You don't necessarily want everything to show up in Steam. So I'll deselect toggle passes over here, which will basically unselect all of them. In my case here, I'm just going to select ES or Emulation Station and Emulators, all the other emulators, to show up under my Steam Deck library. Um, you can go through everything here and choose which ones you want, which ones you enjoy the most, and add them in. But for me, these two will suffice for now. So once we've done that, we're going to click on Add Games, and then click on Parse. And Steam is going to scan your library of games and add in 
artwork for all of the games that you've got selected. So in my case, I don't have quite a lot of these. I've got about 18 titles. I'm still pulling in the, the pictures for them. And there you go. So basically all of your emulators will be in there uh, and it will add these into Steam for you. But what you want to do is go through these and if you've got games added in yet, we'll display the artwork for the games as well. Um, so you want to look through these and make sure that the artwork is correct for each one. Um, sometimes you have a mismatch here, like for example in the Dolphin emulator's case, which is the emulator for Wii games, and it's gone and matched it up with an Atari Dolphin game, which is incorrect. So we want to click on Fix, and Emidec will then scan and find alternative artwork. But as you scroll through here, we can see that it doesn't have the correct one. So what we can do in such a case is then just type out Dolphin, and in parentheses, Emulator. And close that up, and then say Search. And there we go, it's found the correct artwork. You select that, click on Save and Close, and it will update it. Once you're done with any corrections, I recommend that you scroll through the titles that you have selected and make sure that you're happy with the artwork that Emidec has selected. You can change these by simply clicking on the arrows on the right for a different image. Once you're satisfied, click on Save to Steam. It will batch it and add it to Steam, and we're done. You can then close out of Steam ROM Manager and out of Emidec and open up your Steam application. When Steam is opened, you can click on Library, and all of your emulation software and games, if you selected them, will be inside menu over here. So that's about it for this guide. If you have any questions, post it in the comments. Please remember to like and subscribe.